Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another huge meal prep for the week, but this time I am not at my house. I am back home in Massachusetts for the next few months um, to stay with my family for the summer. And I'm gonna be prepping all of our healthy meals and food for the week. My mom is actually trying out Dr. Furman's diet, the Nutritarian diet for the first time. And so I'm gonna be prepping all of us a lot of food so we all have some food prepped. So I'll walk you through my entire process. Let's just get started. We bought so many leafy greens from Whole Foods. I am not sure if we can eat all this. Staple of a nutritarian diet is a huge salad every day. So that's why I am prepping some big salads for us because we all eat salads. This is everything I I'm working with. So in my last video, I did a huge grocery haul restock and I also went to Whole Foods and picked up all these leafy greens that I'm gonna prep in today's video. I got some baby bok choy for smoothies, three heads of romaine to make a huge salad, some kale that'll go in salads and soups and stuff, and some collard greens, which I also like to put in smoothies. Okay, so starting out with today's meal prep, I always wash my produce and leafy greens first and I'm using my Trader Joe's fruit and veggie wash. You guys know I love this stuff. There's a lot of fruit and veggie wash haters in my comments. I don't think it's full of chemicals, like some of you guys say. I, the ingredients seem pretty natural to me, but you can definitely just use white vinegar. I, I use that sometimes. Anyways, I'm washing my collard greens. I just soak them in this bowl and then rinse them off. I use all these collard greens mostly in smoothies. Um, I like to make a green smoothie pretty much every day. Add in my lettuce. And then I'm doing the same thing with my romaine lettuce. And I have three heads of lettuce that I'm gonna use in salads. I'm gonna make a huge salad for us to eat for the next few days. And then I'm also doing the same thing with baby bok choy. I absolutely love to put baby bok choy in smoothies because it has a really mild flavor. You can barely taste it. It's also really good just chopped up in salads. It has a really nice flavor. And then lastly, I also bought some kale. And kale is one food that I always try to buy organic because it is heavily sprayed. It's really prone to pests. I know from experience growing it in my own garden. Um, but yeah, I'm just washing off this kale and I'll I'm gonna use this in some salads and soups. I like cooked kale better than raw kale, so yeah. And once everything is rinsed off, I just lay everything out on a dish towel to let the water kind of drip off. And that is my first meal prep step, washing off my leafy greens. This whole process only takes like 15 minutes. It's really quick when I'm just like doing it by myself. My mom had these huge tubs in her pantry, so I thought these would be perfect for my meal prep. The other thing I use, just plain old freezer storage bags. I try to use less plastic, but this is like, I'm very limited in what I have to work with. I'm gonna put some of my greens in the bag so it'll be like easier to fit in the fridge. Very compact. I'm just gonna tuck a paper towel in here. And our organic, freshly washed kale is ready for use. So next up, I'm gonna make a huge salad with all this romaine. I'm gonna make a giant salad that will last us a few days um, in this huge tub. I'm gonna shred up some of the kale that I just put away and I'm gonna try to do it really, really small. Put that in there. Add this in. And I need to use this up. Next, I'm gonna do like half of this onion. I'm 
Next, I'm adding in two cans of chickpeas and two red bell peppers. And lastly, I found these radishes that need to be used, so I added those in as well. And I just tossed it all together to mix it up. And here is my finished salad. Hopefully this will last us a few days. It is absolutely huge, party-sized salad. And I'm gonna stick this in my fridge with the other greens. Let's stick these in here. There we go. All my greens prepped in just one shelf. Next up, I'm going to prep some lentils in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna make lentil burgers. I was also gonna make a chowder just to have like a soup ready to go for whenever anybody's hungry. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do next. But I only have one Instant Pot here, so I can't prep as many things at once. I'm gonna do two pounds of lentils so that I have enough to um, lentil meatballs or lentil burger patties. First, just wash them and I'm just gonna rinse these out in the sink. Okay, so I washed these off. This is gonna make a ton of food. I'm gonna add in four cups of veggie broth, some garlic. I'm using about four cloves, but this probably isn't a lot compared to this amount of lentils. One onion, a couple teaspoons of liquid aminos, some Mrs. Dash. Okay, I've learned that you kind of have to be careful with the Mrs. Dash because it is very peppery. Um, so it's really easy to like overdo it and put way too much pepper in it. Some Italian seasoning. Um, let's add a couple bay leaves. Give that a stir. Plus some more water. Four cups of veggie broth plus four cups of water. And if there's water left over at the end of the cooking process, um, we're just gonna drain it out anyways. And these are small lentils, so these only cook in like eight to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna press pressure cook for, let's do nine minutes. Okay, so here's how the lentils turned out. I did a full natural release and I wish I released it a little sooner because they are slightly overcooked, but that'll be okay for my, um, since I'm making them into burger patties, it'll be okay. So I'm gonna put these in containers and then I'm gonna make my corn vegetable chowder. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna make a corn lentil veggie chowder in my Instant Pot. I'm just gonna throw all these veggies in at the same time. Some garlic. It smells so good in here. Add in some chopped mushrooms. Next, I'm adding in one pound. My camera's overheating, but I'm adding in one pound of red lentils, some turmeric, ground thyme, some black pepper. That was a lot. A couple bay leaves and four cups of veggie broth. Two more cups of water. Red pepper flake. I'm gonna add in some zucchini and summer squash. Okay, so this is what our chowder is looking like. I'm gonna pop on the lid, let it cook, and then at the end of the cooking process, I'm gonna add some corn kale and either coconut milk or I'm gonna blend up some hemp seeds to make it creamy. So I'll show you my full meal prep once it's done. Um, you know what, I just tasted it. It needs just like a hint of liquid aminos. So I'm just gonna add in a couple teaspoons. You could use coconut aminos too, it's lower in sodium. Okay, so here's how my soup came out. I did 10 minutes with a full natural release. And this is how it's looking. While it's still hot, I'm gonna add in some kale. Wow, this actually looks so good. Next, I'm gonna add in some frozen corn. 
Next up, I made a little cream sauce using three-fourths cup of cashews, quarter cup of hemp seeds, and about a cup of water. And I'm gonna pour this in. Um, this is just a really basic cream sauce. Coconut milk would be absolutely divine in this. Um, since my mom is doing like a stricter diet, I wanted to use hemp seeds and cashews to make it lower saturated fat. This is just beautiful. And here is my finished meal prep so far. My huge salad, all the greens I washed and prepped. We already ate like three of these containers, so this is all that's left. And the lentils, I'm gonna turn these into lentil burgers and lentil meatballs. So actually this is a lot of lentils, I didn't realize. <laughs> um, we have the lentil soup and the lentil burgers I'm gonna make. But yeah, this is everything I prepped. And here's how my lentil burgers turned out. They came out so good. This is definitely one of the best burger recipes I've ever made. I'm gonna upload it as its own video, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, that is everything I made for this meal prep. Everything was super good. You can check out the lentil chowder recipe on my blog. I will have that link down below. And stay tuned for the lentil burger recipe video. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.